I, just, I, I really liked what you said about um, you know having such a need to make this work. It feels that it comes from such a um, a connection, and in a way, if it ends up being theatre and film, feels sort of in a way irrelevant. The point is unique. <laughs> Could you translate that into somebody coming to you with a commission, like somebody saying, I want you to make a film, and coming to you with a script, would that be of interest to you? Or do you feel like you have to have this up? I, I think it's, it's in, uh, I mean, all the stories, you know, a human being has so much experience, well, I've got quite a lot in my backpack, so I'd be surprised if some sort of connection couldn't be made, but I, I as you, as you'll rightly identify I need the emotional charge it needs to be connected into me in a very deep way to go through all that hassle mm -hmm. and to go through all that sort of tears and sweat you know it, I could do it because I could probably um, I could probably find a way into it emotionally but I find it very strange when people come to me and they say I want to be a director and I say but why do you want to be a director and they say because I just want to be a director and I say, oh, okay, well, that's good luck with that then. I'll do it. It's fantastic. Go ahead. I didn't have that urge. I had the urge to paint. I had the urge to make pieces of performance, then theatre, and then film. And it, 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 it's sort of like the other way round. Things are kind of imperatives that draw, drive me, and then I have to sort of find a way. It's like there's a piece of work I want to do with an X, just to give an example of that. There's a piece of work I want to do with um, someone who's maybe I'll put an actor into this, but I want to put a priest or a church person in a kind of hostage situation where they have to kind of justify their faith to the point of kind of nearly death. And I want to see what that brings up. So these are the kind of things that are like puzzles that I don't know where they come from, but they're kind of puzzles that I then start writing around what would happen how would this work? What would the person be able to sort of um, show their true faith and their belief? Would he be able to change this person? What would it mean? It's, it's, it's those kind of puzzles. And it's another piece, a theatre piece, is the story of a guy, a young offender, who holds a kind of normal family hostage and actually gets them to perform his long lost family. Now, I think for me that's very autobiographical because I can remember wandering the streets, looking in through people's windows, thinking, that's normal life. That role that they're in, it's not like me, I'm not a part of it, but it looks like normal life. And I thought, well, how would a young person get that? Well, make them act. Yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? So that's, yeah. that's the kind of puzzles. The puzzles of my own existence come out in the search for art. Which is wonderful, but then I don't understand how that can intersect with someone like Susan Sarandon turning up in Brazil. I'll tell you how it intersects, because she, she actually phoned me up, and this is when I introduced the project I want to make with her, and she said, well, UNICEF have asked me to do a project with street children, and I said, well, because of our project, you should go to this place, this r r rubbish dump where all the children live, you know, you should go there and make it there. She's a very radical person, but she's also, she's between a lot of different stools. She's a Hollywood celebrity, but she's also very engaged. And she still will do this film, but I need to find the money because she doesn't use her own money. She uses her own money for a life. I can understand that. So she fits in one way that she can actually say things. I mean, back in the day when the Americans invaded Iraq, she was one of the few people with her husband yes. who actually said, this is wrong. And a friend of mine, a, a Scottish guy, was bodyguarding for them at the time. A really just a normal Scottish guy, you know, tough guy. And he said he went to a baseball game with them. And two American, he said big guys. Now, if a big guy in America, you're talking something like this speaker. You know, they're big. <laughs> if you've seen XL clothes in America, I mean, they're like tents. So he said two really big guys came up to Tim Robbins and to Susan Sarandon and said, you two are cunts. You're not American. You're not patriots. <laughs> watch your backs because we're going to fucking do you and stevie said you know guys calm down and everything so i think she's quite a radical person i think she's put herself she's able to put herself in a very difficult yeah. position for her beliefs and that's how she gets to brazil because she's able to say 
I think this. And people don't think, you know, if you put, imagine another actress, imagine a British actress. Can you think of anyone that you could put into Brazil and she could say, well, I think this plight of street children is a terrible thing. Mm. Difficult. Because a lot of them are in magazines and things saying, well, my shoes are and my handbag is this. And, or if they go to one of the places, the trouble spots, they've got a crew with them and it appears in hello.